And as for the person who makes oaths, for example, uh, you have a shopkeeper who says, Wallahi, this costed me ten dollars. But really, it probably costed him only five dollars. Ten dollars, I'm going to give it to you cost price. Khalas, take it. Ten dollars cost price. I'm not making not one cent on it. Have you seen that before? I'll tell you something, I've seen so much of it. When you travel a lot, you start to see things you, you can't believe. And especially when you know the price of certain things and they're taken an oath by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That person, that deceitful person, that person that takes an oath by Allah, lying, lying and deceiving the Muslims by taking their wealth. Because what tends to happen is that oh, you want to quickly sell it. So you might find someone who's vulnerable and then you might tell him an oath. And because he's a trustworthy person, he might believe that person and he'll buy it. And really, you've robbed him because you've lied to him. That is a major sin in Islam and it will cause you to have a terrible torment on that day and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not speak with that person on that day. Also, one of the people that will be refused that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not speak with them is a person who withholds water from a traveler. A person who withholds water from the traveler when he has excess water. This person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not speak with him on the day of resurrection. Also, another person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will refuse to speak to on that day is a day youth. A person, a day youth is a person who does not show jealousy to his women, for example, his wife, his sister, his daughters, if they do indecent acts, he doesn't mind, he doesn't care. This type of person is called a day youth. That type of person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not speak to on the day of resurrection.